Hi, I'm Brad Camp, and I want to share with you what I've been reflecting on recently, which is Paul's letter to the Ephesians, chapter 6, verses 10 through 18. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Therefore, put on the full armor of God, so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground, and after you have done everything, to stand. Stand firm, then, with the belt of truth buckled round your waist, with the breastplate of righteousness in place, and with your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. In addition to all this, take up the shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God, and pray in the Spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests. With this in mind, be alert and always keep on praying for all the saints. <clears throat> During this time of uncertainty where we can be so anxious and, and fearful about all that's going on with the coronavirus and with people getting sick, with the financial turmoil, uh, market volatility, businesses being let, uh, shut down and people being laid off with our daily routines being totally uprooted. We can keep living into that uncertainty or we can live in the certainty that God is love. We can live in the certainty that God provides, that he does protect us. Paul gives the the instruction that we can put on the full armor of God and we can combat against the evil one through his power by his protection. I too many times uh, want to be in control and, and, and put on my own armor which does nothing against the darkness, against the evil one. I need to be able to put on God's armor and have the faith and the trust that he will be there for me. So during this time of uncertainty, live into the certainty that God is love. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we give thanks for this day. We give thanks for your unconditional, your immeasurable love you have for us. May we be able to look to you and lift up our anxieties, our fears, that, that you may take care of that and replace it with your protection, your love, and your provision. May this day we be able to be the example to our spouses, our children, our friends, or those all around us, that, that we can be able to shine your light throughout. In your most holy name we pray. Amen.